Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and today we're here for another Epic Universe update. Thank you to Bio Reconstruct for this awesome update. We're gonna start off with the Dark Universe this time, as we didn't get to that in the last update. So, we're gonna do all four lands this time. So, let's go ahead and get right into it. So, going ahead into the Dark Universe, here's the overview section of that. You can see the Frankenstein Manor attraction, the, the uh, windmill wet restaurant over there to the left. The Mock spinning coaster, rumored to be called the Curse of the Werewolf, with its barn show scene in the middle there. And the main village, now supposed to be called Darkmoor Village, based on permits. Now, let's go dive deep into each of these segments down below. First, starting off into Darkmoor Village, that's going to be the land's um, main uh, eatery and uh, main area for retail and gift gifting and dining. There will be a uh, permanent or uh, Sorry, trademark names are like Darkmoor Tattoo for you know, some henna tattoos and um, stuff like that. And there's some other cool restaurants like the Steakhouse, which will be the land's main eatery. It's supposed to be here as well. This will be right as you come inside the portal to the Dark Universe, which looks absolutely gorgeous. It is being themed as a creepy, very creepy tree. And let's take a look into this creepy tree as well. You can see, look at this, all this scaffolding onto the main portal as well. And you can go ahead and see some of those tree roots starting to pop off on the sides of the tree trunks as well. Back inside the landing, go ahead and see the facade to the Frankenstein Manor attraction starting to shape up pretty nicely. You can see some of the shapes starting to form for the kind of gothic vibe going on there as well. And this has been rumored to be, again, the Harry Potter and Forbidden Journey ride system, but upgraded. And we have more proof to that rumor because out in the parking lot, they're staging the same type of bus bar track, bus bar type track that the vehicles for Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey uh, ride on right now. And lastly, looking at the Curse of the Railroad Coast, so you can see the station is all covered up. The steel and the queue are being covered in as uh, right now. So the maintenance bay is all good to go. Track, um, a couple of track pieces have some covers on them. Um, the first launch and the break, final break run, they might have a little sh show scene or two, or at least something covering them as you launch out. But right now, there's no uh, no structure there, and yeah, it's a pretty pretty simple coaster. It'll be looks short, but it'll be a little bit longer than you think because it'll have that shuttle element through the barn station, and it'll be spinning to add some thrill to it as well. Jumping on over to the How to Train Your Dragon, aka Isle of Burke area, you see lots of progress over here. There's a small retail shop that's almost fully done. The Mead Hall is almost done as well, with the gift shop, exit gift shop to the roller coaster there as well. The roller coaster is just about done, at least with the you know, track work and everything. Both statues, the Viking and the Dragon, are now painted with some work going on in the lagoon and you can see some foundations for the flat ride attraction and work on the splash battle attraction as well with even the conveyor belt system that will in the late in the station to you know shuttle the boats in and out of the lagoon being installed right now so again a lot of work happening there and starfall racers is hanging out there on the bottom but yeah let's uh, take a little deeper dive into each of these sections of Isle of Burke. Taking a closer look inside the Isle of Burke, you can see again here is that closer look at that retail shop. They'll be just hugging the coaster over there, and there's the coaster's exit, that barn like structure. The coaster will be going over you in what looks like some sort of maybe, maybe some bridge like structure because on the opposite ends of that are water, so maybe you'll be walking over yet another bridge there. Um, and again, a lot of supports and a lot of. Try. There'll be a lot of water in this land, which will be absolutely gorgeous it should be a, just a really gorgeous area here's a little larger overview of the area portions of isle of berg mostly focusing on the roller coaster and you can see at number four uh like a retaining wall of rock work is starting to be built right there at that coaster's launch section right there's themed element and also should keep the screams out inside toward the land instead of uh, out towards starfall racers over there and then um yeah just a lot of walking space and there'll be a play area as well um, not in this se section, but then be a play area for the children elsewhere in the land as well. Right here is the coaster station. See the um, 
Looks like it was built by Vikings because it's uh, not too even over there. It also has that Viking architecture. And yeah, it looks fantastic. It's again, yeah, it's gonna start off as wood, but its final coat will be like a like a house. As it goes off to that first launch over there, there'll be also be a show scene. Looks like in that before that first launch, so that'll be exciting to see if there are any animatronics in there. As with a uh, Hagrid's motorbike adventure, so that'd be cool. And looking at the flat ride, the the wing gliders or the I don't know what the name is, but that flying air it looks like there's a whole bunch of flying airplanes. A flat ride will be themed to, of course, dragons. But you can see the support for that is right there, and there's two of them. One that's out of frame, and one that's right here. Be two of those side by side to increase capacity, and uh, yeah, adds more kinetic energy to this entire area. Looks like a little snack or beverage kiosk is is forming to the left over there as well. Lastly, here in the aisle, you can see the massive area for the Splash Battle attraction and that conveyor belt that will be the station to the attraction where the boats will load and unload and that will help them move, and move along to get to your attraction. You'll be in the side, something like what's that, Legoland. This is a mock attraction where you'll be on the boat and can spray other people, other riders, onlookers, and everything. So it'll be pretty fun interactive attraction for the whole family and uh, especially. On those hot Orlando days, you definitely want to be standing on the bridge, even if you're not riding on the ride. You definitely want to be standing near the attraction, hoping to get uh, wet. Checking in on some key projects in the hub, you can see the Constellation Carousel almost has all of its supports installed, as well as lots of piping. So some mini fountains that could be shooting up water along the way, potentially maybe even sinking with the ride, and maybe if that has you know, music itself, that'd be super cool. If there's a the fountain sink with it. Like the rise music if it has any or overview overview shot of constellation carousel another mock attraction um so you can go ahead and see uh yeah how, just how big it is and how this area will just be filled with water and the rumor name for this is celestial park the, the whole hub area so yes i'll start referring to it as celestial park Coming up to the rumored barbecue restaurant in celestial park looks just about done at least on the exterior I'm sure they're working hard on the interior i love me some barbecue so i will always love uh another chance to eat barbecue there moving on to the other water feature in the celestial park area the massive bellagio fountain style hub uh, water show area you can see there's they're starting to grade some areas for the potential amphitheater type seating as well as viewing areas for this awesome show which will have views of the fireworks as well this will be a premiere show and it looks it looks small no Based on AO footage, but it's actually pretty big, so I cannot wait to see what type of shows here are going to be here. And maybe they can even incorporate, other than fireworks, some drones or some something. That would be really, really awesome as well. Jump into Super Nintendo World. We have uh, some theming appearing on Yoshi, the maintenance bay to Yoshi's Adventure. It looks fantastic. You can see a lot of track work uh, uh, still happening over there. And just a lot, a lot happening. Super Nintendo World, as you know, is a bit crowded packed land so there's a lot happening over there and uh yeah this just looks absolutely fantastic there taking that same shot but going wider see there's mount beanpole still um, a whole bunch of steel but they'll be working on that while they're working on it now but we'll be seeing seeing theming on that i'm sure in a few months there's some drywall forming on the lower portions be below yoshi's invention and again a lot of steel framework happening um, well, the attraction that is the one show scene that's happening. That's where the pyramids are gonna go over above the maintenance bay And that's where that that show that one show scene for Yoshi's is Yeah, tons and tons of work happening over at Yoshi's adventure looking over at Donkey Kong though A lot of progress has happened there again. The, the temple theming has extended all the way through you can even see some other um, you know, Steel beams forming for that second show scene left over there by Don Kong, a lot of the false track has been installed, and the real track has been installed. You can start seeing, noticing those gaps in the track as well. You can see some theming starting to pop up in the form, and some steel forms on the roof of the temple. That would be the main icon of this uh, land there, and the rest of the land will have mini games, snack stands, and queue for the attraction. It's very highly anticipated. I'm very excited for it. I cannot wait. See test runs of this thing potentially even next year back over in the mushroom kingdom here's just a more 
overview overview of the land and start seeing where the escalator to the very right that's where the escalator is being sought for the portal section will come through Peach's castle which is getting lots of footings right now and the whole upper level is already filled with concrete you can see a potential elevator right there by Bowser's castle or Mount Beeple for you know, stability concerns and there's the portal to Donkey Kong right underneath Yoshi's adventure and even some of the walls, the, the hills are starting to be installed. You see, these will have the Japan hills, which is good. They won't have those tiled, gritty, those tiled hills that Hollywood has. Um, I wish Hollywood didn't do that with its hills. It doesn't look the greatest. Um, I much prefer the Japan hills. I'm glad Epic Universe is getting the the good-looking version of the land. <laughs> and just our last look from a different angle. You can kind of Toad's, Toad's Cafe down there at number five. Uh, Mount Beeple's number three, uh, Bowser's Bowser's uh, castles at number one. There, the show building is looking fantastic for Mario Kart. Probably working on the track in the queue by now, so that's been done for a while. But yeah, yeah. Super Nintendo World, as you know, looks absolutely fantastic. It looks great in Japan. It looks great in Hollywood, even though I, I wish the hills were different. And uh, yeah, I mean, this should be. No different. This should be a bonafide su success for Epic Universe. Moving over to the wiz uh, the gorgeous Wizarding World of Harry Potter area, you can see the arc, uh, the uh, arc over there, being constructed. Uh, looking just super gorgeous. These things are gonna be really tall, and it's be like Diagon Alley, but like steroids. So I'm very excited for that. And the next overview photo over there, you can see the. Uh, Force perspective, force perspective facades being built in place of that cancelled second attraction over there. Uh, and then just more of the roof tiles being uh, installed for this area. Uh, which just looks very immersive, really, really fantastic. Um, and the, the flu network transition to this attraction should be amazing. And lastly, Again, here's another view of the portal, which is finally starting to get steaming, and you'll lead right into the arch over there, and right into a very, very dense land. So, what do you guys think of Epic Universe? Are you excited for all the progress being made? What is your favorite land that you've made progress on so far? Will you be there in 2025? Do you love these updates? If you do, press that subscribe button, you'll get many, many more. Press the like button. And as always, have a very epic day.